And, uh, yeah, I wish I could think of something else to say. Maybe something witty and funny. Yeah, welcome to January in Canada. We got a little bit of a snowfall last night. And uh, the plow is just out. I was hoping to catch a glimpse of it. Ah, he's gone around the corner. Okay, I was too late. This is JJ Stewart, suffering from insomnia. And uh, if you're still with me, after watching the first video, we're going to start getting into the very first thing you got to do as a self publisher, and that is set up your manuscript and how to format it before you write a thing. So, right now, I'm just uh, making a coffee. And we're going to go downstairs to the office. I will show you how to start your manuscript. Very important to start it off right. Save yourself a ton of headaches. And, uh, yeah. very Welcome to the first lesson. But seriously, it's like 7.30 in the morning now. I still haven't slept. But, hey, it's the writing life. <laughs> I wouldn't do it any other way. Okay. So, grab a coffee, grab a uh, pen and paper. Uh... Okay, so we're going to start our very first manuscript. The very first thing you do when you open up your Word document is change your settings. So, very simple thing to do. I always go with New Times Roman. There are different fonts you can use to be fancy, to make it look different and whatever, but you'll have problems when you try to um, upload it and convert it into a Kindle format. So just stick to New Times Roman. Trust me, it works. I go with 14, just because I'm hard, you know, half blind. And next step you go to, so you've got New Times Roman, 14 font. Next thing you do is paragraph, and you open this up. Uh, the very first thing is alignment left text body indentation you want to mine's in centimeters because I'm in Canada um, I go 0.3 you don't want too much because with these little e-readers you don't want a whole lot of uh, you know wide open space in your document okay so just left 0 0.0 well, 0.3 and then for special I go first line that's uh, the very first line of any paragraph and it has a default setting, you just tick it down. I go 0.5. So we have left indentation, 0.3 centimeters. First line, 0.5 centimeters, okay? Below that is spacing. I just go six points and six points before and after, okay? And line spacing, you don't want a lot of, like, like double space is way too much. You're going to have people reading, you know, a couple sentences and then they'll be flipping the pages, flipping the pages, flipping the pages. You want them to read your story, not not get a workout. So set the line spacing to 1.15. I find this works out really well. Okay. So to review, we've got alignment left. Um, indentation is 0.3, just for the left. For the right is 0. For special, first line by 0.5 then we go down to spacing six points before six points after line spacing is multiple at 1.15 and then okay and that sets it up for your whole entire document now the very first thing you do is a title so sometimes I don't have a title for a story right away um, so I will just have a working title so today it's called working title and I have that centered and then I usually just highlight it and I'll change the font I'll keep it New Times Roman but I'll just change the font size to you know something big you know you can even change the color the nice thing about the Kindles is you can change color and it doesn't cost you anything it gives you a nice open start and then underneath I'll go back after I hit return I'll go back to my 14 points I'll go up to the top here, I'll go insert, page break, boom. 
So when I do finally come up with a, a title for this manuscript, it'll the page is already ready there. So everything is set to, to add. And then here I will start my story. So I'll go back to home and I'll start my story on the left. You know, once, oops, change it back to black, sorry. There. Once upon a time. And I spelt my very first word wrong. I can't believe it. Okay, once, long, long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. There you go. And then you can just write the body of your text. So that's getting set up. Later on, I will show you what to do once you have your entire uh, manuscript done. And I'll show you some neat tricks and tips to uh, spiffy it up. So there you go. Well, this is my uh, Amazon page with uh, with all my books that I have, both paperback and Kindle version. I'll be showing you how to do paperback later in another video, but I wanted to show you like how your manuscript looks when um, when it's on the Kindle. So here's an example. Uh, use a look inside and. Uh, you see, you can use lots of color. Where is my... Hang on a second. How come I didn't see the cover? So we got the cover. I will show you how to do that later in another video. Uh, how to get photo stock and how to do different covers um, this gives you a compressed view of the title page I will show you how to do the standard legal blurb any dedications and uh, get right into the manuscript itself so you can check out any of my books at JJ Stewart uh, on Amazon and visit my author page. Thank you for uh, watching, and uh, I'll catch you for the next uh, lesson. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.